Welcome back. I gotta do a good stream intro for our mother over here. Bernard. Hey, how's it going? Everything going good, Bernard? You know, Heidelin. Welcome back to Endwalker MSQ series. Uh, well, well, I'm gonna be recording all the MSQ up until the end of Endwalker. Uh, and we are back in Elpis. More Elpis. More robed uh, Zikaba in his Gunbreaker outfit. Um, we're gonna be. I mean, last time we encountered Vanar, if, if you don't know, is. becomes the heart of Hydaelyn, who is like the mother crystal to us. Like, a, she basically is like a. He, he blesses her. For, he has. He gives us her blessing so we don't get, like, enthralled by other primals. And he was a primal in herself when he became one as Hydaelyn. Uh, but here she is before that. Apparently, being the former Azem, which. Makes a lot of sense when you think about it, with how like, we're very similar, and why she'd choose me, because I am the the current Azem, apparently. Or at least the uh, sundered part, like the one part, one shard of him, anyway. Uh, and we met her, and then, uh, well, time travel happened. <laughs> well, they, they, find, they found out that we were from the future, and then we told Emmett, Hifflidaeus, and, and Vanar about us. And it was a really weird, cool scene. And now we're trying to gather some more information. And unfortunately, Emmett did not take it well. I'm not really surprised, to be honest. He's gone, uh, but hopefully he comes back. Same with Fifth Um But we're with Mother, with, uh, Mother Crystal now, and we're going to be doing some more mystery stuff. So let's do this, shall we? Let's find out who Meteon is. Witness to the spectacle. Bernard is musing over your recent findings. Hmm. At present, the strongest link we have to the final days is the power of Dynamis and the Entelechies which can control it. Yet most scholars are only vaguely aware of these terms, let alone study them in any depth, except for Hermes, it seems. First, I am inclined to stay our current course and learn all we can about the Chief Overseer and his familiar. And on that subject, was there all else of note you can tell me about Meteon, aside from an unorthodox method of communication? Uh... Yeah, she had, yeah, her sisters were sent to travel to other stars and find intelligent life. I rather you wish you had mentioned that earlier. In any event, would you care to elaborate? Well, you see, that mum, she was very mean and cool. So these siblings of hers now travel the great expanse in search of deeper meaning. Thank you, but a mystery at hand remains unsolved. I feel you have touched upon a vital clue, one we should keep in mind as we continue. Next, I propose we take ourselves to the Peripateri Crystalum, not far from here. Just follow the path to the west. Oh. So we're not going to go talk to uh, Hermes then like I thought we were. It would be the ideal thing to do, but I guess not. Let's see if we can find the Aether Currents while we're here. To the southwest? I mean, we are going to the west anyway, so we can grab that on our way there. This place is very pretty. One of the more prettier areas in this game. By far, I mean, they 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 did um the ancients justice, I feel, and it was quite clever. They decided to do like an isolated area, not just connected to everywhere else. Like it's an isolated island in the middle of well, the sky, basically. Uh, I'll talk to you in a minute, Vanar. I need to get some aether currents. Maybe she'll be proud of me if I do this. <laughs> I got the Aether Current. This tower and the one further along are part, part of Peripatera, uh, Crystalum, the facility where they archive all of Elpis' observational and testing records. Despite how they appear from the outside, the interior is actually a vast area of magically interconnected spaces, which, while fascinating, is not the reason we are here, is it? I shall cut my architectural lesson short and see what those two archivists have to share. If you would find someone to speak of over the other tower, I shall join you there anon. Okay, mum. Investigation with Azem and former Azem. I like this. I like the uh, mystery that's going underfoot. And Vanar is a very, has a very cool personality, which I quite like. Uh, I'm trying to find out what the final days is. And hopefully we do. I feel like at this point they can only give us answers and not more questions. <laughs> You have questions for me. I mean, I, I I can give questions, but all I want is answers. Certainly. Just a moment while I conclude my current appointment.
You need to tell me about um the stuff. What is that doing? No. Indeed. So if we could provide a comprehensive log of those behaviours, we should then have a sufficient data for our official records. Now, what was it you wish to speak about with me about? Uh, I have some information regarding Entelekus. The Chief Overseer's personal research project. And by that I mean, I assume you mean Meteon. Yeah. Such undocumented studies are difficult to track. After all, hardly a day goes past without seeing a researcher trailed by one creation or another. I'm afraid I cannot tell exactly when Meteon appeared. Only that she so now spends much of her time with Keith Hermes aside. Yeah, and like her other sisters who went off. Although, I do recall an interesting tale my dearest Galeen shared with me. Eh, <laughs> Galeen is my partner, and a fellow researcher here in Elpis. She was returning late one night when she caught sight of Chief Hermes sending Meteon Heavensward, a host of them. For several days, she would speak of the scene of a wonder, describing it as one of the most beautiful spectacles she had ever witnessed. That sounds like a story I should like to hear. Oh, hello, Vernard. Mistress Vernard, I thought you had already returned to the surface. Permit me to thank you again for your invaluable contribution to our concept placement proposal. Pray do not mention it. As you say, my original plan was to leave after that task, but I have since become engrossed of Chief Hermes' research. Would you favour me with a retelling of this site which so delighted your Galeen? Of course. Or well, could you hear it from her lips directly if you prefer? Yeah, that's probably a better shout. That present, she'll be observing a subject in Metabasos Fallacy. She does enjoy her time there, watching the sea creatures hunt and play, gazing upon the salty waters of the world's oceans, recreated in such sublime detail. I imagine you must find similar joy in indulging your boundless curiosity, Mistress Fernat. Even though such pursuits must continuously and regrettably delay your return to the star. Oh. Indeed they do. You do want to return to the star, Vernat? It is a well reserved, deserved, and long as you, I should think. How greatly have we prospered for the wisdom you accumulated during your travels as a Zen? And what would Elpis be about your early academic work? The fears you developed serve as the basis of many techniques still used in today. Man is a creature of contemplation, but none embody that nature with as much passion as you. Aye, I dare say there is no soul alive more worthy of a return. I shall rejoice the day you will part on your final journey. That's a. Uh, an interesting statement, but I guess in this society it makes sense as seen as an honour. I will be honoured. Well, can we take this opportunity to meet with Galeen in person? Does she want to go? Is that why she's here? It's not. Then allow me to convey through the door to the archives here. I'll take you to the skyware and persuade the need to avoid hostile concept concepts in the ground. That would be most helpful. Thank you. Hmm. Interesting that, yeah, that Vanart hasn't decided to go back to the star yet. The other archiv archivist said no, we haven't all heard already, but this story of Galeen sounds promising. Yeah, it does. I have opened a path to the skyway. Once you pass through the door, simply walk straight across to the next tower and ask for admittance to the upper tier. Upon arriving at the upper tier, walk across the skyway and you will find yourself at the entrance, the Metabasios Fallacy. Aileen will be eager to share a tale of you, I'm sure. Hmm. We are on the Skyway. Oh, this is cool. Like this. Where are we going? Ah, over there. Okay, I see. Ah, oh, I really like this, actually. It's cool. But no, look how nice it is up here. The tower head is still part of... Perpete Crystallum. We will need to ask for our passage through to the upper tier. Uh, can we be let in, please? Mistress Fanat, just passing through. Now allow me to prepare the path. If you need further assistance, there is always an observer or two out on the upper skyway. Oh, nice. Why it didn't just teleport me to where I needed to be, I don't know, but. Certainly getting closer. Ah, I see, there's little teleporters now. Okay. 
Oh, I really like this. I like the area with these little, uh, all these giant skyways. Oh, that's very pretty. Look at that. Pictures have been taken. Let me see how Vanilla is doing. Hey, that door leads into the Flassy, but perhaps we need trouble with this in person for assistance with finding Galeen. Yeah, possibly. Hey, it's just for that. I was told not to expect. Oh, we should be prepared an official welcome. Ah, oh, that's fine. I like how much they like her. Please, there is no need for fanfare. I only wish to speak of Galeen if that may be arranged. Yes, Galeen, of course. I will form her immediately. Ah, but you may be engaged in the testing phase. You could be in for something of a wait. Shall I let her know your business is urgent? That won't be necessary. This lovely view will keep us occupied until she's ready to receive us. Having no little talk. Voice acting time. Right? Yeah. Oh, this like piano version of answers is really nice. Ah, a delightful breeze and a breathtaking view. It's nice, isn't it? It's a beautiful place that I do not want to be destroyed. What is it like in the future? Is the world still a beautiful place? Yeah, in some areas it is. Some parts, yes, there was not so much. Yeah, in the middle one. Dark hidden places, rife with danger. Those have an altogether different, but no less powerful sort of appeal. <laughs> the Explorer. Wayne, will you not tell me about your adventures? Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea, but sure. Well, not the portentous events which led you here, but the simple delights all your own. By learning about the future world, I may gain insight into future me's plans. Uh... But more than that, I have an interest simply as a fellow traveller. Short of going somewhere oneself, there's not more stirring than hearing another's account. Well, I've actually got a book you can read called The Unending Journey, so you can have a look at it in there if you want to see my actual account of stuff. It all started on a carriage in Gordania. I met some friends. Some died. I fought a giant robot in a praetorium with a guy who talks too much. You know, you thought that was funny, didn't you? No, it wasn't funny. It sucked. Oh! <laughs> but then I, when I went to heaven this morning, it was awesome. No! Ah! Ah, torture fun! No, you can't do that! You can! Oh! Incredible. <laughs> Would that I could have been there to see it. I had a lot of, I had a lot of fun adventures. <sighs> Yours is a harsh and unforgiving world. Yet in spite of this, your brethren hold fast to their virtue. They do. To know that the light of mankind's potential still shines, even in that faraway place, it gives me heart. Thank you for regaling me with your tales. I will treasure every word. As you know, I was once a scholar. And among other things, I sought to understand the workings of the world. Hmm. What exactly is ether? How formed the laws of nature? When sprung mankind? Hmm. Riddles and mysteries beyond counting. Over the years, I have managed to find answers to some few of them. <laughs> Yet rather than attain a sense of mastery, the more I understood, the more I came to hold the world and its miracles in awe. The beautiful place full of mystery and wonder. We too are miracles. Each and every one of us. Born of the warm breath of life that traverses the heavens, swirling through eternity. When I fully grasped the improbability of our existence, nothing felt impossible anymore. If it could be imagined, it could be done. 
Nothing is impossible, like you said. We will stop the final days. A passion swelled within me. An epiphany dispelling all preconceptions of what was natural and true. Hmm. And a presence without. Immense, yet intimate. Fate, perhaps. Holding us in its tender embrace. As reassuring as it was intimidating. How keenly aware I became of creation's fragility. Built as it is upon precarious happenstance. I was overcome with an irrepressible urge to know the world more intimately. To hear its voice. Uh, feel its breath. Yeah, feel, think. I ventured forth on a journey that very day. So very long ago. And now. I guess in our timeline, you found your, your destination with Hydaelyn. When you said hear, feel, think. Memories and answers. Freed from presumption and prejudice, I saw the world through a newborn's eyes. Everything fresh and new. And so, so beautiful. Lands that stretched on forever. Skies one could drown in. The heartbeat of nature, silent yet strong. And amidst it all a people. Beacons of light and life. Laughter that warmed my heart like naught else before. They are my meaning. And my purpose. My love. And so long as they need help, I cannot return to the star. <laughs> That's Perhaps why. Perhaps my future self is still waiting for it. I mean, you kind of technically return to the star in the future, the but you even, like became the star. Come to the end. Don't say that. Safe in the knowledge that man will find his own way. I, mean, I need you. I don't want you to go. You, who are our future, tell me this, and tell me true. Has your journey been good? Has it been worthwhile? Oh yeah, it's been one of the best like experiences, game experiences ever. Something that could be answered in words, though. Oh, fucking this game's choking me up a little bit of this. Pray, pray forgive my lateness. Oh god, damn it! <laughs> I'll answer you later, Hydalin. My observation subject was rather irritable, and it took a while to settle it down. No need to apologize. Your work takes precedence. Besides, we had a pleasant conversation in the meantime. Yeah, but we didn't finish it, so please let us finish it. You're too kind. Now then, I'm told you wished to ask me some questions. Yeah, what the fuck is this thing about, like, fl fl flying Indeed. like bird people? I have an interest in one of Hermes's creations. Meteon. You witnessed a host of them take flight, yes? Oh, that! Yes, yes, I did. Uh, cool. It was in the dark of the morn. I'd left the Thalassi after nocturnal observation. It's Thalassi. As I walked along, I spied a bright light climbing high into the southeastern skies. Then, in an instant, it was gone. Like a shooting star, only rising rather than falling. Hmm. But then another shot up. Then another, and another. I intrigued, I made my way to the edge to investigate. And who should I spy on an isle to the south? But Hermes and Meteor. That was the island we the saw before, meteor, right? Rather. The Meteor. There were hmm. lots of them, and I realized they must be the shooting stars that I'd seen. I don't like the fact that they're called the shooting stars. Because if we remember Amor, we saw shooting stars. It's one of the cur precursors of um, the Final Have you Days. With Hermes about this? How does it link? It doesn't oh, seem yes. like bad. It the seems left good. Such an impression on me that I approached him about his mystery project the very next day. Alas, he said that he couldn't reveal anything just yet. That he needed to conduct further tests. <laughs> It shouldn't be long now, though. He uh, often returns to that isle, and I have a feeling he's nearing a breakthrough. Hmm. 
splendid. We are likewise eager for the details. Oh yeah, we are. Well, I love details. That is all we wish to ask. Thank you for taking the time to indulge our curiosity. You're very welcome. It's always a pleasure to speak with other inquisitive souls. Oh, and Where's will him? you be descending now? If so, I shall link the doors for you. Yeah, I'll put a sparkly blue thing on the door so which says go to bottom floor. Please. Link the door? What does that even mean? Like some sort of like ancient technology. Surely my not can just jump down. I could probably do it too if I have like I don't I don't die from full damage, luckily. I mean I get to like one HP, but that's about it. Well that was a good scene. A lot of shit happened. Um Hello. So another piece of the puzzle falls into place. From what we've learned thus far, I think we can safely conclude that Hermes hasn't been revealed the details as we should research to others, which suggests that either someone will appropriate his discoveries and make use of them, or that Hermes himself have a hand in causing the final days. Makes sense why Fan Daniel knows about it then. Since we have no yet no reason yet to suspect the former, we should consider the latter the more likely possibility, proceeding under the assumption that our next step should be to divine why, or even if, he might desire such a terrible fate for our star. Why would he? That's the good question. Worthy of his back, Bernard has uh, a new course of investigation in mind. I should like to visit the site from which Hermes sent forth the meteor. If you are, if you are fortunate, we might find some hint of what drives this research of his. Galene said she spied him on the northeast, rising from that isle that she could see from the edge. If we stand at the same vantage point, it should not prove difficult to relocate the island in question. Take a look, shall we? Yeah, I remember her looking at it, I think, at one point. So it's becoming more and more apparent, I think, that Meteor, that Meteor, not Meteor, Meteor has a, has some involvement in the final days. Like, they described him as shooting stars, which is what the final, the uh, premonition of the final days was, shooting stars and a burning sky. Which... I guess might be them coming back and realizing, I don't know, motions are the key. I mean, we know that Hermes, him personally, he, he's devastated by the fact that creatures that we deem lesser have to die and they have to suffer because they're not mankind. They're not the same as us. That they're forced to go for this inner turmoil of emotions, which I guess maybe it was why he created Meteon so he could they, they could see this in in turn or they could like reflect it with other people and be better because of it. But right now we don't we have a lot of information and I think we're gonna find out what the hell is going on. Hopefully soon. I think I see the island. I think it's that one over there, right? It's a nice pink sky, it's beautiful, isn't it? We both walked all the way over here, by the way. Now, if I was conducting some mystery research, where would I go? That one? Ah, what about that one? Have you the means to fly? There's quite a distance away. No. Could you fly me for me? Inconvenient, but hardly an insurmountable problem. To me, Argos. Yay! We know she has the power over Argos. I think it's Argos, not Argos. My friend, would you mind creating a devil to carry Zigbar here over to that island? Good boy. Aww. Stop him, creature. <laughs> there is no place in this great star we have not together travelled, and still he remains obstinate in the presence of strangers. Argos has a very exacting standards, I'm afraid. Oh, what do I do then? Anything I can do? What? You've written him before? Ah, ah you're before meaning my after. Not all that confusing, that. <laughs> Interesting. They're certainly not unthinkable. Can I summon Argos? But speaking of the here and now, the quick solution is for us to face off in a spying match. Excuse me? I'm gonna fight my mum? No! <laughs> I don't wanna fight Mother Crystal! Uh 
Demonstrate to him that you are capable of holding your own against me in battle, and you should convince Argos that you are worthy of the back. Is this a child? <laughs> Hydaelyn! And besides, I even I might even teach you a thing or two into the bargain. You seem doubtful, but useful lessons or not, it will certainly be a moment to remember. A, ba a dip memory of the distant path to Cheris. So what say you, traveller out of time? I say... Choose your battlefield. I will do what I must. And this memory turns out to be a bad one. Choose your battlefield. I am ready to fight you, Hydaelyn. Let's do this! <laughs> yeah! I admire your confidence. Clear your mind and prepare your weapons. I'll be await I'll wait you at a clearing over yonder. This is weird, but I'm kind of down for it. I'm guessing it's going to be an instance. Well, I guess we'll go fight Hydaelyn then. Hopefully we don't kill her. Or, well, nah, I keep calling her Hydaelyn. It's not Hydaelyn. Oh, there's a Aether fight over here. Let's go get that while we're going. Aether current. Because we've only got... I was trying to labyrinth force. We've only got this and the, next, and the next area left. Turn to Aether Currents. And then I never have to think about them again until the next expansion comes out in three years. Or two years. Ah, oh, yeah, this is a good place to fight Hydaelyn. Uh, but I, I apologise, I keep calling you Hydaelyn. Oh no, you've got. I can already see you've got a bad case of the swirly lines. Which means that you're gonna, it's a battle instance. Hey, Argo! How's it going, buddy? The entity is identical to the one you encountered in Mela Lamentorum. Except this Argos is pointly, pointly ignoring you. Maybe this is how we get his respect. It's like a bootstrap paradox. Shall we begin? Be warned, I'll not go easy on you. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yeah. Oh shit. No, 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 no. I didn't agree to this. I did. Let's do this. Let neither side hold back. You think I'm holding back? Oh, she's fucking my shit. What the fuck? My blade sings! Does it now? Is this near music? True blink? Oh god, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, okay, I know that attack now. I just music a lot. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to fight you, Hydaelyn, but I guess here we are. Okay, here. Yeah, I'm gonna save that attack for um, when we get to uh, this attack here. It means I have less chance of being hit, I think. I, I chose like a bad class for this. No, you don't have to try something different. It doesn't want to take as much damage. Wait, you changing class? Oh, I can't do that mid combat, no! That's kind of cool, though, that she can change classes like that. Okay, yeah, I was going to say that's going to change, isn't it? I've done a lot of these attacks, Hydaelyn. They're not gonna get me off of them. You're not gonna catch me up with them. I mean, you might, but not today, anyway. Oh, no, here we go. We're spinning, are we? Oh, okay. Oh, no, this is the uh, Endwalker music. Never mind, I thought it was something else. How long are we going to do this for, Hydaelyn? Uh, we're still going. Okay, there we go. We stopped. That was uh, a little bit stressful, but we're good now. I see you won't be easily overcome, but neither will I. What are you going to switch to now? Oh, we're doing a uh, white mage? Here we are. Okay, right. Well, just so you know, I'm quite good at white mage. It's one of my best... One of my more... Better classes. 
We find a place that isn't fucked. Probably here. Oh, not that big, AoE. I thought, thought it would be, but they're not. I need to keep moving. Here. There we go. That was hard to work out, but I think I got it. This is a fun little ball, but she's very difficult. Oh! How are you so powerful? Give me that. I mean, I know you're like, un you're not, you're sundered, you're unsundered basically, but still, fuck. Come at me with your own. What are you gonna do now? Oh, we're doing Paladin? I think we are. Oh, I hope we go big tank time. I'm also a tank, so we should... Oh, true blink? I forgot what this was. Oh. Oh, no, I think she was this before. Yeah, she switched back here. Okay. So she has three different forms. This, Dancer, and White Mage. Well, it's basically tank, DPS, and uh, uh, healer then. But the most nervous one was the uh, Dancer one. So let's... Oh, no. Okay, we're doing the other stuff. Oh. No, 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 you don't get any Aether from this, but not. That's not, that's not how this works. There you go. Oh. The only thing you get is, um, attacks from me. I think I did this with, uh, uh, yeah, I remember last time I did like an instance was uh, with uh, Fanquid for Gunbreaker. So I'm glad I was able to do it again here. Oh, okay. I think, yeah, the red ones go faster. Okay, right. Shit. No! That's not fair. No, I didn't get it. Okay, well. Wow. Okay, red one's first. I'm assuming this is like, you know, based around how much DPS I can do as a tank, because otherwise this is kind of bullshit if it's not. Oh, Heidelin, why are you doing this? Okay, it's AOE time, I think. No! No! Was that enough? Am I fucked? That's quite big. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Break your chains, shed your burdens, and show me your strength and will. What does that mean? Ash maneuver? What the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna get impaled by mum! Am I dead? You still stand. Okay, I survived. Of your time are more resilient than I had dared hope. I've seen enough. Oh, we're done? Oh! That was exhausting. That was cool though, I liked you in that fight. Twas my intent to finish it, but clearly I underestimated you. Yeah, I'm very strong.
One would think I never learn. I made the same mistake with Azam when we first sparred. Despite being less than half my age, his strength was astounding. As is yours. Tis claim you yeah, have I'm him, considerable kinda. hardship. Far more even than your tales would suggest. It seems we have both learned much on our journeys. Hmm. And now Argus likes me. Enjoy. <gasps> Do we get the pets? <gasps> oh! Go doggies! Hello. <laughs> well, now. Big dog. I dare say he is warmed to you. Yay! A boon to be sure. He never forgets his favourites and is ever eager to come to their aid. I don't say that. I'm worried now that this is what actually happens and we have to come back here for this stuff to actually play out. I want to be able to save this version of Elpis and save Emmett and, and Hyphladeus. And I want them to die. I like them a lot. Argos will soon have us standing on a very spot where the meteor made their departure into the night sky. With luck, we will learn something of Hermes' intentions. My hope is that we find no connection, no festering wish for oblivion. They might have Hermes and his considerable expertise working for us rather than against us. Yeah, I hope so too. <coughs> we don't know. That's the problem, right? A flower upon your return. Hmm. Wait, it's not the what the quest I need to do isn't called that, is it? Hold on. It's flower. And we know what flowers are. Turn. Let us move to over to the edge before mountain, shall we? That will allow Argus to catch the currents rising up from below and give us a smooth ride over to the aisle. Sounds like a plan. Oh, look, even night is beautiful here. I love the blue like tint it has. Why can't this be what this, why can't this be what every area is? Just have a nice little tint to it. We can like chill out, ride around, have a picnic here. I hope that we don't leave and Elpis has been destroyed. I don't think it will be, but I won't suppose a lot. Either way, I guess it's time we're gonna go find out if um, Hermes is actually good. Climb on Argus's back and we can be off. You know, honestly, I can't remember the last time he carried anyone but me. <gasps> Let's ride Argos. Yeah, here we go, buddies. Da 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 Get a few, there we go. Now, what was the name of that tree? No something. Ah, no to thought. Well, hold on, that was very quick. Quite a striking specimen, is it not? Hmm. Yeah, fingers crossed, Hermes is not evil. I really hope he isn't. I like him a lot. I mean, if he was evil, we'd know about it, and he'd probably brace himself for the landing. I wouldn't want you tumbling off at the last moment. I don't think he is. He seemed genuine when we met him, but also he had some. He had a problem with some stuff. Like how uh, beasts were treated. I don't know. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can just come over here, find him, and he'll work, work, work with us. Quite a small place. Lacking even the most basic equipment. Hmm. Oh! The present may yield no clues, but we may yet try perusing the past. Have you done this before? Oh, the echo? Yeah, I got the echo. So you cannot control the power freely. Worry not. I shall assist you. You can just do this whenever you want? Come and stand before me. Is this like the blessing? Well, we've always had the echo. That was an innate ability we had. It's, this is... We were able to, like, get the blessing from Heidelin. Yeah. The first entails peering through the walls of the soul in the moment a subject is recalling a memory. The second requires no subject and is instead a process 
of piecing together and figuring it out or being told something. The ambient ether. Huh. As memories are etched upon the ether of the soul, so too are they etched upon the ether of the world. In this way can history be preserved. For such memories are given to fading, however, and can prove challenging to visit. Yeah. But come. Let us try. Close my eyes. Okay, mum. I'll do that. I'm tell me what echo means. Here we go. Yeah, only sunshine and rainbows here, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Hermes, please. Be nice. All units fully functional and proceeding on course towards their respective stars. Why can you talk normally now? Estimated time to completion of survey is 108 cycles. End of status report. Severing connection oh, okay. shared consciousness. Did you hear that, Hermes? All is well. <sighs> yes. Good tidings at long last. Every step of the way. I've been reminded how little we understand creation. How the universe defies imagination. Hmm. But soon we won't need to... speculate. We'll know the answers. What others live for. <laughs> Indeed. And we'll owe it all to you and your sisters. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder... what... Answers we will get. Like this. Whatever intelligence. It's playing. It's playing nice with it right now, but I don't know. To be vastly different from us. Diverse in form and culture. Possessed of unique ways of thinking. What if this this thing, what the Hermes is doing, is what summons this creature of the final days? It's not inherently the emotion stuff. It's. A being of diamond, di di diamondus that comes because of this calling out that we're, we're doing right now. Life and its purpose will be no exception. Completely and utterly unlike ours. Utterly unlike? How? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, well, we could be summoning the final days, Hermes. Fuck. Yet whatever answers we receive. I will not dismiss them out of hand. No. I will think earnestly on them all. And I will share them with our people. That together we may contemplate our own existence. Yeah, I'll question my own existence all the time. Perhaps then our star will become a better place. Not only for man, but for all life. Meteon. As though I gave you wings to soar the heavens, I did not teach you how to walk the earth. So loath was I to bind another living being. Hmm. In the course of your long journey, you will learn from those you meet, learn to walk and run so much more. And when you return, older and wiser, we will have a celebration to mark your homecoming and coming of age both. I don't know if that'll happen though, mate. Or will there be apples covered in syrup? No, we're using the food thing that they always fucking do. Make us feel bad. Like number seven, sis. Hmm. Rather than food, perhaps popcorn. A flower. <gasps> yes. Upon your return, I will gift you a beautiful flower. No, I don't want to be gifted. That's very nice. That's a nice thing, but... I, I think it's them calling out is what led to this being coming. I don't. I generally think the final day is some space entity that I was called upon by, by a meteor and the others. So, what is your opinion? They signaled something. They found something in space. Hermes wouldn't wish for the fi final days. Couldn't say just say just for a man. Hermes is a gentle soul. 
No, I don't think Hermes would want that. He he loves life. He wouldn't let his world be destroyed by it. I am inclined to agree. Yeah. As we had suspected, the two are somehow involved. Yet it's difficult to believe that they would deliberately seek to end all life. I think it might be an accident of them traversing the stars like this. In light of this, I propose that we reveal your tale to Hermes himself. If he does not wish for the final days as we believe, he may well join us in pursuing a solution. Yeah. Then it is settled. Let us seek out our friend with all swiftness. It would not do to let such a pure soul be blackened by tragedy. We know his soul got blackened in the future. Guess we'll do this now. Oh, I have an art. There are many numbers of places where Hermes might be in Alpis. But we could do more. What we could do worse than looking in Kateris Hyperborea, the largest facility. It stands in Ephesus Kateris Boreas, the Northern Isle. I wonder, Zigbar, for an institution which claims to be a studious uh, research every every species destined for release of the world, do not question how they found room for all of them on so few islands. The answer lies within Kateris itself. I touched upon the practice before back in the archives, where vast spaces stitched together out of multiple conceptual spaces. The same holds true for the India area of this facility, its magically co constructed uh, environs. To stare at these sprawling habitats to the chief overseer and most of the overseer overseers conduct the bulk of their research. Come, the simplest route is to, is to the noose north of Point in Orcus. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're going up here, I think, to this place. Oh, we've got quite a distance to go. Okay, I'll meet you there. Hmm. I just realized there's four plus quests here now, which means there's going to be no more. I think we're getting close to the end of this, oh, end of this area in terms of the story progression. You can kind of tell by the, uh, how many plus quests have appeared in the area. But also, it does feel like we're getting, everything is coming to a head when we go to... Northern Isle. Yeah, activated. Yeah. The final area, I guess. Oh, wait, no, not the final area. There's one over here, too. But I don't know what that area is going to be, actually, now that I look at it. Hmm. Ah, good. The news acknowledges you as my guest. You should now have the authority to use it as you wish. Nice. As for the road to Kateris Hyperborea, Hyperborea, Borea, Borea? We follow this path and then turn left at the crossroads. Hmm. Guess that's what we'll do then. Oh yeah, this is a uh, big, a big facility I see. Went to a little bit of dark souls, uh, a, t a teeny bit. I quite like it. You can see the uh, Amorot uh, spires coming out of it, which gives it that kind of um, uh, uh, ancient arc art style, which I quite like. The Greek art style. Playing some more of Tempest, very good. Here we are, the grandest research facility in Elpis. Oh? We head inside and ask for Hermes' whereabouts. I just heard the door open. What was that? Hermes, is that a different facility as we just discovered? Who is it? Is it Emmett and Fat and Hyphiladeus? Yay! They are working with us. <laughs> I'm so happy. Furthermore, we have confirmed that his studies in Dynamis, as well as his creation of Meteon, were entirely private pursuits. No one else he spoke with appeared to possess the chief's depth of knowledge on the subject, and neither did we hear any tale of stolen research. Being so, if Hermes himself harbours no desire to bring down an apocalypse, then he might be recruited, recruited to help prevent one. Yeah, or so say after the illustrious Emmett Selk. You wanted to help after all. According to your story, the 14 divine divine the connection between these celestial currents to the final days. 
but we were never able to pinpoint the root of that cause of the calamity. Without people's greatest minds, not to make it high for the day as a sharp eyes, commitment to the pursuit of a solution to such an outcome seems inconceivable. The only possible explanation is if the nature of the catalyst was so inexplicable that we, even we failed to perceive it. And what better fits the description than the invisible, intangible dynamis? Yeah. Which in turn leads us to our next question. How did Hermes and his role as Van Daniel not recognise the subject of his own creation? Must assume they even knew or was unable to help, or they was otherwise prevented from identifying the cause in the first place. At this juncture, all we can do is speculate. Oh, uh, it might be a memory thing. To be clear, the conv convocation does not tolerate acts of deception or malice. We are practised at perceiving the truth, and we would have known had Van Daniel lied to us. Hermes has no conscious wish for the world to end. Of that I am certain. Maybe he knew, but he didn't want to say anything. It seems there was more to head to... Well, I mean, in a, in a sense of, like, he knew what caused it, but he didn't want to cause the, the end of the world. I knew you two would want to stick along. We could have done an investigation of our own, you see. Uh, we went to an island. This is my, this is my fellow art boys! <laughs> comforting. We seem to have reached the exact same conclusion. I see no reason to delay further. It is time we brought Hermes into the fold, as it were. Thank you for your understanding. Yeah, that one. I'm happy that you decided to stick with us, Emmett. Save your thanks. I did not say I believed your ridiculous story. As Emmett Salk, I have a duty to examine any potential threat to our existence, no matter what, how lucrative, lucrative or personally offensive I may find it. Sure. I cast out Emmett. You're just a bug. You're just a giant teddy bear. How lovely. Our marriage duo has become a quartet. Past disagreements and no reason to reject collaboration in the here and now. I commend Emmett Salk for his practicality. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's definitely what he's doing. He wasn't like angry at all. Do not approach me. Do not speak to me. And do not dare presume to treat me as a friend. I am merely carrying out my duty. Of course you are, buddy. Right. Uh, but with that, I think we're gonna end this part here. I hope you enjoyed, like, kind of the Vanart part, where we went on an investigation with her, and we found out a little bit more about Dynamis. Not a lot, but a little bit more. Hopefully, next time we get the answer to what the final days is. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you then. Goodbye.